Okay, we're at the PC. I've made a little space here on my desktop. Here's the place where we download the firmware for the waterfall on it. RTTY decode, CW decode. Scroll down until, it's quite low down, until you see, keep going, you want to see where it says download. Follow the instructions, of course. Here it is here, download the latest firmware, so we're going to hit that. Now, if you have a problem downloading, uh, try a different browser, because I know that Google didn't really like it, as you saw. So what I've done, I've switched to the Microsoft browser, and now let's do that, download. And you'll see, <laughs> it's still not working, but I, I clicked, go to original page, and, and then here it is, open file, and the file is now there so yeah a bit bit annoying but it is there so what i do while it's there i just click on it and drag it to a little space on my desktop a few seconds and it appears uh, and there it is there then we we need to open the esp32 program when you just click here just uh where i'm circling just right click it open link in new tab and you'll have the tool appear Use the one that I put in the link there. This is the one you want here on the right hand side. Uh, so ignore, if it doesn't look like this, don't use it. Use this one here, okay? And you can connect your USB cable. I've got mine in and to my PC and I've gone right click here, device manager, just to get my comm number, which is, if I double click, you'll see it's COM10. So we know our COM number. So the tool's on the right hand side, we're going to hit connect, find the 10 that we had when it was connected, there it is there, USB JTAG, it starts, connect, and it, this is showing that it is connected. Then we're going to choose the file, okay, we're going to choose file, so I'm going to erase the flash like I did last time, and it does that just by clicking here. Uh, chip erase complete. And then I'm going to choose the file. So I'm trying to find on my desktop, which is called Target X3 Water Bin. I'll double click that so it's got it in there. We need to change these numbers from to naught times or zero times zero. So we've erased. We chose the file zero times zero, and then we're going to hit program. And then we'll wait and hopefully. When it reboots, it will be good. Uh, and we can use the water, if this works, we'll be able to use the waterfall. Uh, just reading what it says here. Yeah, I feel like when it, once it says hard resetting via RTS pin, uh, that we're there now, we can turn it on and off. And even just at this point, disconnect the cable. So let's just, uh, just for now, and then we'll turn it off and then back on. And it should say with the new logo, mini radio, custom firmware. So you can see that that's looking very, very techy. And uh, when this is the latest version, it actually changes color as you tune. Now, to get the waterfall on, you have to, so now to get the uh, waterfall showing, look at that nice little, I don't remember seeing that before, but anyway, press, go to the brightness, backlight, and go to, it says 32, press, then press again, go down to ETM. And there you go, the waterfall starts, as you can see. But it is silent, but it's still nice. And so the next part is to, can we even decode RTTY? So let's just go, you can see the waterfall's looking pretty, but anyway, uh, let's press and go to mode, press, Trying to find the RTTY.
So I'm pressing the menu up and down. I'm just in staying 40 meters. Decoder. And I've never used this. RTTY. So it's definitely on now. Now we need to know what to dec where we can go to decode. So we'll load down. There's a lot of there's, there's a lot of CW there. So some give me a frequency for RTTY. So I am trying. There's something coming through there on seven oh five nine. It's periodic. Well, it's just fun, isn't it? Now you got someone talking now. Quite low down for, for voice. Okay, well, nothing at the moment. Let's try decoder. We've got RTTY, different types there. Let's try Morse. Okay, like so. And then we'll go down. Come on, it's got to be some moss. The main thing is we've got it all loaded. Read the instructions, tinker around. Fine tune. Oh. But it is coming on screen. It's part of the new firmware. You go, maybe the bandwidth. There's the fine tune there. You can fine tune the bandwidth. I mean, it's fantastic, isn't it? You could press and go to back to the ETM. It remembers from the last time it was doing the the um, waterfall. So anyway, fun, excellent. And I've tested this, loading this firmware onto the original one that I got of these, which was like £18 delivered, and it worked. It worked. Maybe the filtering isn't perfecto and everything isn't perfecto, but it's completely usable. Um, so bye for now. Thanks, thanks all involved. 7-3.